Hey guys, welcome back. So we are picking up right after filming the Decorate With Me that I posted earlier last week, which I will have that video linked in the cards if you're curious to see how this layout came to be decorated. So I'm using all of these boxes at the bottom for the March Madness games. So I'm filling out March Madness in each box and then underneath the box, I'm going to write what series of games are going to be played that day. So now that I have that done, I'm going to actually do a little menu planner on the side. I never really use these stickers. And since my layout starts on Sunday instead of Monday, I'm going to be using the Sunday on this sticker as the Sunday before. So it's going to kind of be a little bit backwards, but that's all right. I want to use these stickers up because I never really use them. And it might be kind of fun to track what we have for dinner for the week. I've been really enjoying lately writing in two different types of pens, so one that's a little bit thicker than the other. I think it just adds a fun little touch of bold letters that kind of draw your eye and just make things a little bit more decorative without actually having to do anything fancy with your writing. I'm going to go ahead and fill out any tasks that I already know I'm going to be doing for each day. I generally do this at the start of the week and then each morning or evening I will fill out any day specific tasks that I didn't know of beforehand. But I always love filling out any ones that I know ahead of time just because then it's already on paper and it cuts down the time of writing in your planner throughout the week. I'm going to use this little section here for anything that I want to get done this week that doesn't really have to be set to a particular day. I'm going to make a note of the Happy Planner Spring Preview is going to be going live on this Tuesday. Let me know in the comments down below, is there anything from the spring lineup that you're going to be picking up? There are some adorable sticker books. I really want the Whimsy Seasonal, I think it's called. And it's just such a cute, fun, seasonal book. And I love anything seasonal. Now I'm just going to add my daily task of checking out my work planner. It gives me just something to check off since work is a large portion of my Monday through Friday. And it just allows me to fill up some space and also add work into my weekly layout because it is something that I'm doing throughout the day. So I'm going to do something different this week and I'm going to underline in green my YouTube videos that I am planning on posting for the week. And then I'm going to write the title of each video and then on the second line I'm going to write what time I'm going to be scheduling it to go live. But I haven't quite figured out for Tuesday and Friday what times those will be. So I will fill that portion in once I have the video uploaded and when I schedule it the day before. I'm also still debating on how I want to do these to-do lists. Part of me wants to do every single line and then part of me wants to skip a line in between each one so i think next week i might try skipping a line in between each one and just see how i like that i'm gonna make note on thursday evening that shadow and bone season two comes out on netflix i loved season one so i cannot wait to watch season two
I'm gonna add, I'm still trying to use these trash can stickers, so there's another one going on Tuesday. So that is it for today, and I will check back in with you the next time I am filling out my planner. So it is currently Monday after work, so I am going to fill out some of the things that I want to do this evening yet, and then I'm also going to cross off the things that are already done. So my task list mostly for Monday is getting ready for tomorrow's YouTube video. And I think to just kind of fill this empty space, I want to fill it with a sticker. So I kind of want to use one of these larger box stickers, but it's like just a little bit too big. So I'm going to go for something smaller. And then in this remember box, I'm just going to make a note of the videos that I will be filming throughout the week. And then I'm gonna peel this up because let's be real, I'm not gonna read before I go to bed tonight. I'm going to be watching TV because after I get through my task list of all of my social media tasks I wanna get done, I'm really just probably going to want to watch an episode of my show. So I'm gonna use this more decorative, smaller box sticker instead. And then I'm gonna pair it with some of these confetti stickers just to kind of fill the space and pull a little bit more of the colors down to the bottom of the page. And I'm gonna cut this one in half because I don't need the entire strip of the sticker. I just want a little corner of it. So that's it for today and I will see you all next time. So it's actually Wednesday evening and yesterday was so busy after I got home from work and I am just going to update and add everything that I did yesterday and then also today for Wednesday because it is about 7 o'clock in the evening so pretty much have completed Tuesday and Wednesday so this is just going to be back planning.
And then after my brother and I completed our taxes, we had a ice cream treat because, I mean, you need some ice cream after you do something like that. So in this sticker book, there are some ice cream cones, so I'm going to decorate with these. So I think that is it for everything back planning. So now I'm just gonna fill out the menu sticker. And I think for the most part that that's going to be everything and I will come back and fill out tomorrow. So this is how my planner looks at the end of Wednesday. So I had kind of a lazy day after work on Thursday. So once again, I didn't really fill out my planner a whole lot. So it is now Friday evening. So just like I did on Wednesday, I'm just going to basically be back planning. So I didn't actually get the video done for Friday. I'm just gonna draw a squiggle line through that because that did not happen. So all I did on Thursday was, of course, just watch March Madness after I got out of work, which was to be expected, so I'm just going to make note of that. And I think I want to use a sticker, but I really just don't know where to put it. So I'm going to place that back in the sticker book. So I'm going to add some more tasks and then I may come back and decorate some of these empty spaces, but I think I'm going to do that at the end of the week. So here's what everything looks like on a Friday evening. So it is Saturday and it's time to update and kind of finish decorating my layout for the week. So it is snowy today, so I'm just going to add this little snowflake sticker. And then just make a note that I had enjoyed a morning of just drinking my coffee and updating everyone's March Madness brackets. I'm gonna cross off some of the tasks that I already got done this morning and then add just a few more that I know I wanna get done this afternoon. And then now I'm going to focus on just kind of decorating these empty spaces just a little bit. So tonight we are having our St. Patrick's Day dinner, which is Reuben sandwiches, and I am so excited. So that gets a shout out in my weekly layout. And now I'm just going to memory plan a little bit and add some decoration to Thursday and Friday.
And then I love drawing these little, I'm gonna call them little glitter sparkle doodles. I have been doing them in pretty much every single layout the last couple of weeks, but they are so much fun and a great way to just fill up some empty space. So I have no idea what to write in this sticker, so I'm literally just going to write, I don't know what to write here. <laughs> do you ever do that? You put a box sticker down and you're like, I am going to fill this with something really cool and then the week goes by and you just don't know what to write there. So here's my completed layout for the week. It turned out super bright and fun for St. Patrick's Day. I really enjoyed filling out this layout. It's probably one of my favorites that I've done in a long time. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this little look into how I plan for the week. And I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye guys!